so we're just going on a little uh, what's left color tour. It's been kind of windy this week and it rained and uh, most of the leaves are down. Or not most, but a lot of the leaves are down. So it's kind of rerunning some of the route that we had done before and uh, it's crazy to see. I mean, what is still up is, is vibrant and pretty, but there ain't much left up. So all that was color last weekend, and this weekend it's just bare sticks sticking up, but still beautiful. I'm gonna have to put it like right in here somewhere. I, I can't see it at all. Yeah, it looks really, really bad. Your driver's side tire is at about a 45 degree angle, and the other one's at probably a 15 degree angle. I'm just trying to find. So we are on our second trip down the road because uh, Chris's Xterra got caught between a couple of tree roots, one on either side, and broke the idler arm. So now we gotta change the idler arm. A couple of bolts, a thing, and whatnot. So dropped everybody, split up. Chris went and got a part, went to his house, grabbed a bunch of tools, and now we're back in the woods playing trucks again. Jesus. Oh, that went really easy. Yeah, I had my impact turned all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Not bad. Not bad yet. So far, so good. A couple of bolts on that upper bracket. Yeah. Need a wrench to hold the other side. So, oh, this one might suck. <laughs> it sounds like it's making the right noises. Can't get a wrench on it. Try to keep my fingers and put a wrench on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that sounds promising. There's dirt Is there just the two of them? Yeah. Well, I guess I'd better get the new one out of the box. Well, this this looks like three was an option. I don't know. If, oh, there's a third one up there. There is a third one. Yeah, I was going to say, on the front forward side of the bracket, it looks like third, a third bolt was an option. It's, it's easy to see why it broke. This has got to be the cutest little idler arm I've ever seen. It's pretty frail. Not much meat there. Yeah. I might have like turned the steering that way to uh, yes. spin that around. There you go. Something thing I don't know right now. Is, yeah, so this thing's got to get way in there. I just want to trap it. Well, you probably want to hook it to the bottom of that tie rod first, and then I'll yank the wheel this way as much as we can. Because it looks like your other tire is turned this way a long ways. This needs to... Or do I turn the the dry, turn the wheel the other way to help pull it? That's what I'm wondering. And pull it back in. Let me try that. So, little sketchy jack operation. Trying to get things lined back up. Oh, yeah, definitely a thing. That was the ticket. Yeah, and then we'll just have to do something to get so I can impact that. I wonder if I should impact that first before I'm trapped away from it. Gotcha. Like right now, I can put that on super easy. Thing is, what do I do with that? <laughs> tailgate. On the tailgate, maybe? Yeah. Right on, right on. three bolts to the frame we'll be back in action so now that we have gotten off the trails trails and we're out on kind of the hard packed dirt road you can see the tires are towed out uh, away from each other quite a bit like I don't know if you can tell looking down the side of the truck but this thing is turning hard right as comparison to the rear when this one is like straight with the rear so Let's see if we can make a tie rod adjustment to pull it in a little closer to 
to straight or at least straight enough to get it to go down the road halfway decent because right now it's pulling him all over the place. <laughs> 